welcome back to the channel so today gonna be like a chill little vlog in the fish room just gonna go through and give you guys a little update on some of the changes that i made down here some of the tank that you guys haven't seen in a while then we're going to set up a new tank for my flower horn where the tank is already set up we're just going to transfer them over there to that tank but let's go through check some tanks out and see how these fish is going see in here we got our nice little geos looking good all the lights on is down here in the fish room so it's gonna probably be a little bit of a glare on some of these tanks but just bear with me and this tank is super hard for me to even have uh, plants in this tank right now because these geos like you know they swift through the sand all day every day so it's kind of hard to even have plants I'm always having to replant the plants but I might try to keep them in there but we'll see how that works over time you see these guys definitely looking beautiful up in here you guys haven't seen this tank in a while but this is my african cichlid breeding tank got that nice beautiful hung eye male right there really starting to show some color that nice fryer eye male and my zebra oblique one male i'm always getting new fry out of this tank actually that female zebra oblique one that's swimming up to the glass right now she's actually holding fry so i'm gonna need to strip her here very soon but everybody here is doing good tank could use a little water change but i'm finding out that my fish breed a lot better when the tank is a little bit more dirtier than super crystal clear water you know because a lot of these fish don't even come from crystal clear water in the wild but we just try to create that for them in our aquariums but they do a lot better when the tank is a little bit dirtier we got our nice little 60 gallon right here i definitely want to do something different to this tank i was thinking about adding some more color to this tank maybe some uh some severums or something like that i'm not 100 percent sure but maybe put some severs in here something because i got a lot of like silver fish in here we got the giant daniels got the damon eyes we got the nice little flag tail which is starting to put on some nice size up in here too then we got these flag festum these guys are getting huge from the time i bought them they have gotten so much bigger beautiful fish but yeah i think i'm probably gonna get like some severums or something like some gold severums or something like that with some red severums to put in here just to get this tank some color because it's definitely looking real basic up in here right now Let's see what's going on in this tank we got some more breeders up in here kind of like a mixed tank of fish but you can see that rusty i got a couple of rusty cichlids in here that are holding and then we got this nice peacock male right here too I think that's a uh, blue regal nice color on him then we got our tangerines tiger they starting to get some color that's the male right here i definitely got some fry out of them already just raising them up right now hopefully we can get more of these guys in the fish room because it'd be nice to have a bunch of them that tank is pretty much simple like i said it's more of a dirtier tank because breeding wise you know when I have my tanks crystal clear and all nice and pristine, I don't get any fry. But when I let the tanks kind of go a few weeks, I start getting fry. So just kind of what I'm testing and learning with my water. But this tank, I just did a water change on this tank today. So this tank is looking really good right now. Got all our South Americans in here. And then a couple little straggler African cichlids. I got some convict cichlids in here they had bread i had a bunch of fry in here but i ended up taking all the fry out of here because i don't really want no convicts fry so i took all the convicts up out of here because that was just too much in the point of having all those convict cichlid fry but this tank is looking beautiful as well definitely want to upgrade these guys i'm thinking about when i get all the monster fish out of the 120 gallon I'm gonna move a lot of these South and Central Americans over to the 120. And I'll give you guys an update on the pond too today as well. So make sure you stick around for the whole video. But down here, we got our nice little Vieja. We got a nice green terror. There's another Vieja and there's two Jack Dempsey's in here, but these fish are kind of scary. I think because the tank sits kind of low to the ground. So it's a lot of foot traffic. So they're not very excited. <laughs> But these guys are also going to get updated to the 120 gallon along with these other South and Central Americans. And I think that's going to be a super dope tank once we get that all set up. But yeah, that tank is looking super nice right now. And you guys haven't seen this tank in a while. I had set this tank up probably like a couple months ago. I don't know if you guys remember. I had 
did this tank but i had added in a couple little fish in here we got some different type of tetras let me get better angle so it's not much of a glare for you guys we got a different type of tetras in here some serpe tetras i think there's some jewel daniels in here just a mixed tetra tank really then we got like some odd men like guppies in here and then we got this nice little julie this nice little julie right here beautiful little fish i had a bunch of those but i ended up losing them so that's the only one i got left and then if you look in here as well we got some curvenzies up in here too tons of little curvenzie babies that i've been growing out for months now they like one of the slowest growing fish i think i have but this tank is looking pretty decent i had a a lot of my plants in here had melted back on me um, so i'm getting a lot of new growth with these crypts and this amazon source so this is all new growth right here the tank is doing good definitely probably gonna i don't know if these fish is gonna be the permanent home for this tank i just wanted to put some fish in here because i was tired of just being empty i had just the guppies in here swimming around but went ahead and added in all these fish and i think it looks nice over here I don't think I think you guys seen it if you watch the channel, but look, we got us a nice little starry night, which I can't get him to be very active. I'm trying to look, see all oh, he, he's super scary. So I don't know, Mr. Feed the Fish brought this guy over, and it's a nice fish. He's just really scary, and he don't really come out very often. There's also like a dwarf pike in here that's kind of high behind that rock, but they're very scary. So I'm definitely gonna be getting some more fish. I actually got something coming in the mail here soon another fish that we're gonna be getting for the monster pond so he probably gonna be going in here to grow him out uh, so right now this tank's kind of like empty ain't too much going on over here we got our nice exodons definitely one of my faves in the fish room can't go wrong beautiful beautiful fish but if you guys remember we had set this tank up yesterday in yesterday's video you can see how this tank is looking right now everybody in here is looking phenomenal i had a lot of people was like don't put the tiger barbs in there with the discus woo 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 you know what i mean i always try different things and you try things and if it don't work out you can move on you know but you can see the discus ain't nothing wrong with that discus they're not being nipped these tiger bars aren't very aggressive and the more fish you put into aquarium the less um you know action you're gonna get out of some tiger bob so it's a lot of fishing look at this little quarry just swimming around but yeah this tank is looking super dope right now cleared up so much from yesterday they're definitely hungry haven't fed today so everybody is looking like they're ready to eat yeah that tank came out super good yeah you can see a little dizzy he's just chilling man you don't see no fin nips or nothing like that. Tiger barbs, they just chilling. But tiger barbs definitely can be, you know, a little aggressive and a little, little nippers, but we'll keep an eye on that, you know. And if things go wrong, I'll just remove them. But for right now, I think they're a dope little piece to this tank, and I'm going to let them stay in here. But them electric little cars are looking phenomenal in there, though. Now, this guy, I'm kind of like torn between putting this red devil in the pond because as you see they create their own tank they escape their own tank and do what they want and i don't want him doing this with the substrate in the pond so i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm going to add him to the pond or not i'm still trying to debate it would be nice to see him in there because he's beautiful the color but i don't want him disturbing the substrate and just kind of doing his own thing so i don't know if i'm gonna put him here plus these uh texts i got a nice little texas cichlid i would love to have him in there too but he's probably gonna go to um the south american tank with the other fish once i set that up and then this female dovi who i had for over a year and hasn't grew an inch i'm talking about just won't grow so you know it'd be nice in the future maybe get like a male dovi i think that'd be super dope but you need a really big aquarium to have a male dovi because they get huge i'm talking about huge huge so Maybe in the future it'd be nice to have one, but I'm not 100% sure. But I don't know what I'm going to do with that female. She's probably going to go hang out with the South of Central Americans because she's not that aggressive at all. As you see, obviously the Red Devil is the boss in this tank right here. It kind of got them all 
hiding in their own areas. But it's only three fish in here. It's plenty enough room. But uh, just don't know if I want to put this guy in the pond, man. You guys can let me know what you think. Should I add him to the pond or not? Be nice to see him in there, but I don't want him doing this to all my substrate in the pond and murking it up and making it cloudy every day. I mean, eventually it'll clear, but I, I just don't want that right now. Now here, we got tons of little fry. I don't know if you guys see it's a, kind of a bad glare on this tank, but we got our Williamson Blue Lips. You can kind of see the male hiding up under that rock back here, but we got quite a few fry in here swimming around. I'm just letting these guys kind of like colony breed and do their thing up in here. And the fry is growing up really good right now too. Wish they would come out so you guys could see them. And the uh, African cichlids. These guys is looking phenomenal. You see that? Look at that hung eye male right there. The dad is in the other tank. You can see how his son looking. He don't have like that orange on him. But I think actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think that's a different species. I got so many species of Africans. It's kind of hard to keep up with what I got. Oh, uh, I got so many of them. But this tank is looking good as well. I don't even know how many fish in here. Maybe y'all can let me know. Y'all can count. Pause the video and let me know how many fish in here. I would say about, uh, I would say 100. 60 to 100 Africans in here, maybe. And then they're already breeding up in here too. So a lot of these guys, you know, are fry and now they breeding. So I'll be finding like little babies and stuff swimming up under the rocks. So I'll be pulling those guys out of here. I was gonna sell these guys, but like it's just so hard for me to sell my fish. You know, I do this for the passion. I like to breed fish for the passion, not to sell fish to make money. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of hard for me to just part ways with my fish. And then plus, I would like to see all these guys in the pond later down the line. This rack system over here, I think I'm gonna tear this whole rack system down. Um, you can see we got these nice source tails up in here. Looking good. They're definitely breeding. I don't know if you can look closely, but let me uh, focus on that. But there's tons of fry in here and there's African cichlid fry. I had a rusty cichlid in here and she ended up giving birth in here. So she has tons of fry up in here. Plus the sore tails are breeding. So there's a tons of fry hiding in all this algae. But I think I'm going to remove this whole rack system right here. We got fry in these tanks. Give you guys a little closer look. We got some Kenya fry. I think these are some yellow top hung guys. Over here, we got some Corbenzi babies. I think in this tank, it's some more fry. I mean, there's just, just fish everywhere. Um, but I think I'm gonna take this whole rack system down because I'm about to start doing my summer tubbing. So a lot of these fish I'm going to put outside. Um, you guys will see all those videos. I'm gonna do a whole series on like summer tubbing and setting that up. So I probably think I wanna put like a show tank right here. I got a couple of tanks that I got, got in storage right now that I think I want to put right here just to give it some show tanks. A lot of my tanks down here, you know, you get bored with things and you want to switch things up. So it's kind of where I'm at with it right now. But this is our flower horn right here. Beautiful male to have no name for him. You can see I got a couple other ones in here too. I think it's like two more, but they're not growing at the rate that he is. So I'm going to move him out of here today and put him down in this 40 breeder that I had just set up today. So he's gonna go down there. I'm gonna let him live out the rest of his life. And hopefully we can groom him and make him look really good. I really wanna see what he can turn into. But he's definitely not aggressive. You see he'll come up looking for food, but he's not really that aggressive. So we're gonna be working on that today. But this tank is definitely looking phenomenal. Looking good. Yeah, let me get my net. Where my net at? Hold on, y'all. So I got my net, and we're going to um, move this flower horn over to his new tank over here. Doing all this raw and real today. Uh, so, guys, just bear with me. Let's see if we can catch him up out of here. It's going to be kind of hard. Because I got this little net. And he's not going to want to be caught. Come on, brother. Let's just work together on this. Come on.
Come on, man. The people is waiting. All right, yeah, we got him. But yeah, you can see he's a beautiful flower horn. You guys can let me know in the comment section what should we name him. I'm just going to put him in because this tank is the same temperature. Everything's the same temperature down here. Just going to get him into his new home. Beautiful. And hopefully, let me get myself out the camera. And hopefully he do well in here. I think he will. Once he get adjusted, you guys can let me know in the comment section what should we name him. Y'all can leave that below. I think he'll do dope up in this tank, man. Hopefully we can groom him, start to get super big. It could be like a nice little showpiece up in here. That'd be nice to see. It's definitely a little beautiful fish. I just got like some black gravel. Just this one little rock up in here. Nothing too crazy. Cause I know they don't really need a lot of decorations. But he need to get adjusted to his tank a little bit. Temperature is about the same, so he should be all right. But yeah, let me know what we should name this dude, man. But I'm gonna let him get adjusted, and then I'm gonna walk over to the other side. I'm gonna give you guys a little update on the pond, so stay tuned. All right, so we walk up on the pond. See, this thing is doing good. The downside to having this pond is that this viewing panel gets like a algae sludge on it. So every other day or so, I gotta wipe the whole sides of the pond off, wipe the panel off a little bit because it definitely gets a little blurry. Um, so you gotta keep up with the maintenance. It's just like having an aquarium, you gotta keep up with it. So it's just something I have to do. But everybody here is doing good. Pinky still hangs out over here. Um, when I feed, he comes out, but for the most part, he hides. I think what it is is that this pond kind of sits low to the ground, so he's not really too used to like being that low to the ground and all this foot traffic that happens over here. So I think that's why he don't really like come out a lot. But I think once all the fish get in here, he'll be adjusted. But sometimes if I'm standing back and not really like up on the pond, he'll come out and swim. But as soon as I come back, he'll kind of like dart away. But the Oscars is doing good. You see the other one swimming with the other Oscars. And there's definitely no more goldfish. Not one. Not a lick of goldfish. I'm convinced that the Pat Pool, see him in he back there with the Garami. I'm convinced that he the one that did it. Or that Oscar right there. Um, but they definitely doing good. We probably going to add some more fish in. Uh, I don't know. Maybe this week. Maybe next week. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I got some other fish that I'm trying to work on right now. Got some other things in the fish room I'm trying to work on. So we'll see if we get around to it. But I'll probably add some more fish in. Like I said, I want to put the Red Devil up in here. But that dude... I don't know, man. I don't want him like creating like craters in the substrate and just making this thing all cloudy every day. Even though the cat gonna do that too once he get in here, but I don't need multiple fish doing that. So who knows? We might put him in here. You guys can let me know in the comment section what you think about that. But yeah, I know you guys want to see the pond. Try not to um, bore you guys with so many pond videos and talking about the pond every day. But I mean. This is like a beautiful thing and why not show it? I know you guys are here for that. It's looking good though. Definitely looking good. Just need to clean this. Um, oh, I thought that was the Garami, but that's the other fish. But I definitely need to clean this uh, front panel off. I'm gonna do it after I shoot this video because I already did it before the video. The water would have been a little bit cloudy. So I'm gonna probably do that tonight. And then by the morning, this thing will be back clear. You can see it's kind of like smoggy. And I got a GoPro, so I'm working on the GoPro, getting that thing set up so when we add the other fish in, we can get like some underwater footage. I think that'd be dope to get like some nice little underwater footage. So. Just stay tuned. We got more coming for y'all. Today was just a chill vlog, man. Just wanted to um, get on here, shoot like a raw, uncut video, man. You know, oh, you can see the pike now. There you go. Nice little pike. 
Oh my God, the scene the red that almost jumped out. But yeah, I thought I'd be moving the pike over here just for temporary, let them hang out in here for a while with these fish, but I'm not 100% sure um, what I want to do because it's always things changing and moving around here. Haven't bought any really new fish in a while. Just been kind of like keeping up with what I got. I definitely want to get some more different species of fish. I can show you guys the better. The light's off down here. I don't have no light over this tank right now, but we got a nice little better. Let's see if I can get him to come out. And then we got like some little tetras up in here. You guys can see them little tetras. But we got a nice little better. He's still holding on strong living, surprisingly. I didn't think he was gonna make it. Oh, that pike looking good over there though. Looking great. But yeah, I don't wanna uh, keep rambling. Just wanted to give you guys a little raw uncut video today, man. And uh, hopefully this flower horn do well up in here. I think he will. I think he'll do just fine. Y'all can let me know in the comment section where we should call him, what his name should be, because I haven't named any of these fish. And I'm sure the next day or so, the next few videos, I'll give you guys an update on him. He'll be out swimming, eating, doing good. Just got to get adjusted. I mean, I literally just threw him in the tank while I record his video. So he'll be adjusted here soon. Just got to get used to it. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it, man, for today's video. Just want to give you guys an update. I'll be back with another pond video probably tomorrow or something. May add him in there. Who knows? I'll read the comments. You guys let me know. Should we add him in? And if y'all think it's a good idea, we'll add him into the pond tomorrow and see how that works. And if it don't work, we can always remove him. But beautiful fish, though. Beautiful fish. He definitely will look phenomenal in that pond. No cap. And everybody hungry right now. Cause I've been down here working on the tanks this morning, cleaning things. So everybody is definitely hungry. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it, y'all. I'm out of here. I will catch you guys in my next video.